Joining me now is Luke Kenton, senior news reporter for the U.S. Sun. Luke, the doc, um, by the way, thank you so much for, for doing your work and then for being here as well. The, the doc has only been out a couple of weeks, but it seems like justice is moving extremely rapidly. Yeah, there's been, uh, you know, a, a pretty um, strong response to the documentary. It's, it's been trending on Netflix in the top 10 since it aired, and that has led to uh, a lot of scrutiny and a lot of attention on the stories that some of these students have been sharing. Um, and and within that, you know, the, the, there's a real drive to uh, to retroactively achieve justice for some of these some of these students. Um, and at the moment, that focus is is on uh, ousting the likes of Amy Ritchie from their current uh, positions. Um, but beyond that as well, it, it's the push for for a criminal investigation and to see uh, how the district attorney's office can proceed with some of these allegations. Well, it, it, you have interviewed several. Seven former students have corroborated um, the allegations against Amy Ritchie, uh, who was a, a teacher at, at the school. Um, not only that, but the documentary filmmaker went back with several former students to the abandoned building and found troves of files. I mean, there were just thousands and thousands of documents and files left behind. I'm assuming that the DA is, uh, you know, not only fielding a lot of phone calls from people who've seen the doc and maybe think they were victims as well, but, um, but is having to go through all that paperwork for, for actual evidence. Yeah. Uh, like you said, you know, their phone has actually been ringing nonstop off the hook. I spoke to them a few weeks ago um, and they said, you know, the reports are still flooding in. Those numbers are in their dozen, both for physical and sexual abuse. Um, but he did warn uh, people to not enter the, the, the premises at this time. He said, you know, they're treating it basically as a crime scene and, and there's a lot of evidence still there. Reports of, of incidences uh, of staff and, and, and physical assaults on students and things like that. And a lot of the students I spoke to have actually been back to the uh, to the to the site itself to reclaim their files and, and to recover some of the personal information that was stored in their in their files as well. And lest anyone watching think this is just one of those stories about a, a reform school that went too far, uh, let me just read a couple of things. That they were not allowed to look out the window. They were not allowed to look at each other. They were not allowed to talk to each other. Uh, they were deprived of food. Um, they were kept in isolation rooms for sometimes days on end. They were only allowed to move in military formation, actually pivoting when they turned a corner. And it wasn't just here. Just I've only got about 30 seconds left. But, Luke, the allegations here that this was just one of many schools in a network that proliferated this kind of treatment all across the country, around the world, and as some were closed down, others continued to pop up and still are there to this day. Yeah, exactly. And that's what the, the students at Ivy Ridge um, feel very passionate about now. You know, there are still a lot of these facilities in operation across the U.S. Um, and they want to see the, these facilities shut down for good because they say, though they present themselves as a rehabilitation program for, for these, quote unquote, troubled teens, uh, they actually leave you significantly worse off and, and they're, they're a breeding ground for predators and other bad actors. Yeah, not to mention the fact that many have zero training, zero accreditation. This school couldn't even give real diplomas, and all of those kids that so-called graduated found themselves having to get GEDs, you know, after. Uh, Luke Kenton, I'm going to call you back. Uh, there's so much more to the story I'd like to get to. Um, thank you for tonight. Appreciate this. No, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.